K2 skis. Well, this year K2 knocks it out of the park again with the K2 Bolt. I have to say, when I first stepped on the ski, I wasn't used to going so narrow under the foot because over the last couple of years, I've been skiing a lot wider. But if you're the type of skier that spends most of his time running around on a GS ski or a race ski because all you care about is how grippy that ski is from side to side, you need to check this out. One thing I'd like to point out is that a lot of skiers today that do spend their time on race stock or GS skis, they do that because they like the performance of the ski. One thing that they overlook is they overlook the ride quality of the ski. In a race ski, it's like a race car. There's not a lot of ride quality. It's all about performance. Get on it, get off it. This ski, skis like a race ski, has incredible edge-to-edge -edge transition, incredible stability, but the ride quality is absolutely beautiful to ski on. Components on the K2 Bolt are 125, 72, 99. Components on the ski are a metal laminate top sheet with carbon fiber cross weave and a wood core ski. What is Speed Rocker? Speed Rocker is basically reverse camber. So in other words, they're using camber traditionally below the foot of the ski, but forward and aft on the ski, just as they change the dimensions on the tip and tail, they're actually building a little bit of curve in the ski. What does that do? It means that if you go out and ski, you can ski on a longer ski that's going to be more stable, but because there's a bit of curve in the tip and tail, the ski initiates a turn easier and finishes a turn easier, and as the terrain changes, you've got constant edge pressure in contact with the snow. So all in all, you've got a ski that's easy to turn, very, very stable, and fun to ski on. that they're using a dual core technology with a mod monic system. In plain English, they've got a metal laminate ski. Below that is a carbon weave, like a carbon X, they call it a mod monic. And that system in itself works independently to smooth out the ride of the ski. The rest of the ski is a normal wood core technology, but one thing they've done is, there's a recipe today in skiing. As I've said before, there aren't any bad skis in the marketplace today, but some companies really have it right. And I have to have hats off to K2 because they have dialed and blended all the technology that you see today. Rocker, camber, whip, components. Lots is going on today in ski. The average consumer walks into a store, he really can't choose a bad ski. But again, there are some skis that are just exceptional. And I have to tell you that this K2 Bolt is an absolute carving tool. If you're the type of skier that wants to go out first thing in the morning, and you want to play with the groomers, and you want to just ski and forget about what's under your foot, this is a remarkable tool to step on. Tell me when you look at this ski, it doesn't make you want to ski on it. The graphics at K2, they set the standard on, on ski cosmetics. No other company spends more time making the ski perform as well as it looks. And I'd like to give my hats off to the designers at K2 because they've done a tremendous job once again in making their skis look as great as they ski. For K2 Skis and Boots, I'm Brian from Blue Mountain, and I hope I can see you out in the hill we can crank on a few turns. Thank you.